Good evening once again everybody and welcome to yet another episode of Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs and probably gets everything wrong. Um, so, last episode, let's have a look around. We, I um, finished, let's see, what did I do last episode? Ah oh, yes, I remember. I um, freed this area up here from the oppression of the biters and built this Bobmonium mine here which is loading up this train. The train currently has nowhere to go because um, I haven't built it anywhere for it to unload yet. So that was going to be the next thing for this, the first thing for this episode was to build up a Bobmonium processing facility down here. Uh, so somewhere I can dump all of the Bobmonium as it comes off the train and then sort it out into um, into t tin ore. Yes, I think tin ore, whichever the ore is that comes from the Bobmonium anyway, in order to um, then smelt that together with, is it, it's either, you know, it smelt it together with the copper um, ingots in order to get, let's get this right this time, in order to get the bronze that I require for these fast inserters and then for the uh, fast and, and the fast stack inserters. So that's going to be the plan for this mission, for this episode. Uh, the first thing to do here actually is going to be to pick up that car wherever it is, there we go, and then clear out some of these trees because I'm going to need this area for the, um, for the station and for all the basic processing. So switch to lumberjack mode. Ow. Now these cracks in the ground here are, um, they produce um, thermal water I think it is it turns out. Uh, that's not something I'm interested in at the moment, but it's, you never know, I might um, might find I need it later, so we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. Also I don't need these pipes along here, those, work, those are part of the, um, the blueprint I copied in that I don't actually need because I'm not doing uh, whatever it was. I also don't need those, probably do need this because I'm going to need to fuel the trains don't need that. This is the downside of just copying and pasting a large station and going, yeah, that'll do. Um, I managed to pick up some other stuff with it as well. Okay, so let's start building. More boxes. So, ah, it doesn't quite reach. <laughs> Typical. Uh, let's put that there and then... In fact, let's run... Oops. Let's run big pole to big pole along here. That way, even if I even if I start rearranging this area, use these water processing plants, I'll still have the power that I need for for um well for everything down here. <clears throat> oh, I knew it couldn't last long before I ran out of something. Uh, do I have these? No, I don't. So I need more more ore crushers. Well, I need some ore crushers, in fact. I'm going to need more um, inserters. I can tell. Uh, everything I do along here is very very inserter hungry. Um, do I actually need to have all of these power poles. Is there going to be a more efficient way of doing this? Probably. If I just put them on the ends here like this. Yeah, that'll do. Um, and I suppose I should probably build another row of inserters along here or I'm just going to unbalance the whole thing. Or maybe I'll just... not inserters, uh, another belt along the bottom here. Maybe I'll just use the middle ones for now and just have half the throughput that, I, that my basic design could in theory have. Okay, so I'm going to get some inserters, belts and ore crushers. I should probably check to see see whether there's any ore crushers in my um, dumping warehouse first and any, for that matter, any belts or any inserters because there's no point in keeping them in there. So let's have, let's see, anything useful. We've got yellow belts in here. I don't know whether they should really be left in there. What, what are, what have we got here? Crushers, that's a sorting facility, I don't need that. Okay, that's my inserters, managed to find them for once. <coughs> what else do I need? Ore crushers, which is one of these, that one pretty sure. Yes. Ore crushers and I got belt. Oh no, I didn't get belts. I need belts. Still got plenty of undergrounds and other things. Okay, back to the um, work so uh, job site. I was going to say I picked up a lot of these, so I'll just put in lots of them. Oh, I did. Okay, they're just in multiple stacks. That's good. So I'll put them all in for now, but I won't hook them all up with inserters. Like so. And then these are going to be crushing bobmonium, not... Um, whatever that was, Jeevalite I think. So, I don't know why I'm putting them in, just to make it e quicker and easier later. And then I need to finish that belt off, and then here we've got the, the crush stuff coming out again. We need a coal feed in here. Now where am I going to bring the coal down from? Maybe the answer to this is to pass it underneath the trains and then actually bring it down on the other side. In fact, maybe I should have done that all the way up here with the early first stations. Although they had, there was a quite an easy Coal feed for those. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so that go like that under the train. Under there. I oh, know I still need a well a pylon somewhere along there. That'll do. Do I have a train stop? No, but I can at least make one. 
Right, you're not to be Jeeva Light Drop. Let's change that before bad things happen. And um, Bobmonium is a sort of a darker orangey colour like that. Okay, another yellow underground. Good. And then I don't need this bit. Okay, that's going to get Bobmonium in, in and crushed. I'm, go I'm going to check what the next step is because I've got this sort of thing wrong so many times. I don't want to do it again. I think I then want to sort it. Yeah, so I don't want to... I don't want to cook it into tin straight away. Don't want to do all of that. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I certainly don't. No, I'm not. Going, I'm not interested in making it into bobmonium chunks just yet. I don't think. All right, let's let's. All right, let's have a look. What's that do? No, that just gets that gets out co cobalt and zinc, which I'm probably going to need them later. So I think at some point in the future, once I need cobalt and zinc, I'll probably replace whatever I build up down here with another copy of this. So that I, I can get the chunks out and then and, de and deal with them from there. But for now, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this recipe. Yes, the crushed bobmonium. I'm going to sort into slag and tin and silicon, tin ore and silicon specifically. I could mix it with the, no. The, this 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 way is much easier. So that's in a, an ore sorting facility, which of course I don't have because that would require planning. So we're going to turn the crushed bobmonium into tin ore. In a, in a sorting facility, I'm going to turn this tin tin ore into tin ingots in a blast furnace. So I need sorting facilities and blast furnaces, and blast furnaces are something I've been having to build by hand so far. But that's not going to be a problem. They they seem to be reasonably easy to build. Sorting facilities are those. Blast furnace requires more stone bricks. I think I just left my car rolling and it drove into something. <laughs> of course it did. For the time being, I'm going to merge these because I don't see me using it well. I'm not going to start start off using an enormous amount of this. All sort of. It's a bit of symmetry here. I should have put that on the other side. Oh, let's, re let's redo all of this with it on the other side because then if I do bring a second belt off this off this splitter, I, it, um, they won't be trying to be in the same place. Let's try that again with less rubbish this time. I think I decided four was a good number of inserters for these things. Uh, feels like quite a lot, but then, eh, inserters are cheap. And I think the sorters do run pretty quickly. And then, much the same on the other side. It's unloading. And then I want that blast furnace I built. Why am I building pre-damaged belts? There we go. So that needs to have fuel. And also I need it to make lead ingots, is that right? No, it's not right. T tin ingots, there we go. Right. <laughs> um, does that also... Oh no, that just, needs, that just needs fuel, that's handy. So that's the uh, coal I had over here again then. There we go, There's now there's room for another blast furnace in there, should I need it. Hey, okay, I think that's going to start producing the um, the tin ingots I need. So let's set this um, bobmonium train, which is now full, that's good. So I want you to go to bobmonium pickup until full, and then to bobmonium drop until empty. Go. I think I put enough coal in it that it's going to get all the way down there. It's not going to tell me. I do wonder if I should put in a little way up here for the trains to get in at the top of this loop, the top of this system. But then they just there isn't a way for them to get round to the other station, so I don't think it's actually worth it. Here we go. This seems to be uh, working nicely so far. Oh no, it's not. I haven't put a sorting thing on this output belt. Uh, three. Okay. Um, I don't know where it appears. Okay, crush bobmonium to the right, please. Clear that. Do that. And then I need a belt taking this away again. <laughs> where have I been feeding this stuff to recently? Up here. Okay. Oh, that's handy. I've left a... Um, yes, that's a belt to just feed the um, crushed stone into the rest of the disposal system. Occasionally, I do plan ahead. Who knew? Okay, and you're... What are you doing? You're sorting crush bobmonium or not the chunks. So that one down here to take that in. I should actually be doing some more sorting along here. So that should do, what is it, tin ore? That one to the right. Okay, that's good. And then as usual I'm just going to, actually I can, no I can deal with the, um, I can deal with the crush, uh, the, uh, the slag, I just can't deal with the alum aluminium at the moment. So I've got some spare ore, no it's an ore sorter, or crusher, there we go. And then I need some... Right, no, I still do need something to do with all that aluminium. Uh, somewhere to put all that aluminium. So let's go and... Um, this wood. Let's go and build up another... Uh, yet another warehouse to, to just dump stuff in. 
I'm a bit aware that I'm just dumping a lot of stuff in warehouses at the moment and hopefully it'll, it'll actually come in useful later because it'll mean I'll have all those resources when I come to need them to build up whatever it, whatever whatever they're actually used for so I'm gonna have a lot of aluminium available uh, this is actually silicon I'm doing at the moment but so I'm gonna have a lot of that as well um, the stone bricks I know I've been I've been using those a bit to just carpet the base so they, they get used a little bit as well it's just yeah, there's some stuff is more useful than others, should we say? There it is. Put that, and then these. Okay, so now we've got a, a belt full of um, t no, near no, not near side, long handled. There we go. Okay, so we've got the um, whatever these things are, tin ingots now. And we've got the copper ingots from the previous system. So now I guess we just bring them down, bring that belt down all the way down here, and mix them together down here somewhere. Time for some more forest clearing. Okay, yeah. Yes, these pylons are a bit in the way. But... Is this brass or bronze? Bronze. Molten bronze, copper ingot, tin ingot. That's these two. Good. Thank goodness I got that right. Induction furnace. Okay. I'm going to not have enough bricks. Oh, I do have enough bricks. Induction furnace. Put one of those together. And I'll slap that in about here I think now I want to have this running out onto the bus at some point so what I'm going to do here is um, split them off a little bit earlier and maybe I'll just yeah I'll do this I think and then the induction furnace can go oh I see so this melts it and makes mm, bronze and then what do I need to turn them onto bronze into normal into actual bronze that goes into a casting machine now, how do they compare on speed? Am I going to want to consider making a um, another machine to do that? So, it takes four seconds in a casting machine Mark 1 to do that. It takes four seconds to do that. Okay, so they're exactly the same amount of time. That's that's great. That's better than I was expecting, if I'm being honest. Okay, so that can go into there. Why does it have outputs? Never mind. Uh, oh, wait. No, wait. Oh, no, no. That does pull in both of them. Okay. I want you to make bronze plates... And uh, let's unload them with a. You're not to be a long handled inserter, you're to be a short handled inserter, you're to be a long handled inserter. So I can have a, this. In fact, let's do this this way around. I should probably. No, in fact, forget all this. Right. <laughs> let's try and do this in a slightly more sensible way. Let's put it on the other side of the belt, like that. Hopefully there's now room. Yes. And I'm going to leave a gap just in case I do want to put pipes in later for some reason. Then I'll have an inserter there. An exerter there. I don't care what you say, I'm going to stick with exerter being a word. I'm going to do that again with short handled ones. And then a piece of pipe in there. And you're doing bronze. You're doing bronze. Then we just have a belt coming out here and joining the bus here. Excellent. Now that's quite a slow supply. I think I'm I think I'm probably going to want to build this up a bit. So I've got two, three, four. Five. I don't know how many machines are doing, are doing this. Why is this stopped? Okay, <laughs> that's because I forgot to put the belt on for this thing. That's okay, I can fix that. Like this. <clears throat> I suspect I'm going to want more of these as well, but at the moment it's sort of a let's set it running and then find out where the bottlenecks are, whether I'm, what I'm not producing enough of, and then go, oh no, and run off and produce more of it. So at the moment, this, as a proof of concept, is working absolutely fine. Uh, so, now I need to think about probably making all of those inserter types I've been talking about and saying, oh, I wish I had faster or stacker or better or and that sort of thing. Because that was, in fact, the whole point of doing all this. So I think I want to put together some sort of massive inserter factory. To basically to replace the one I've got up further up to the, towards the top of the base. Because whilst that is working for the simple yellow inserters, I'd like to... I'd like to get it to the point where I'm producing the other ones fast enough that I can just stop using yellow inserters entirely and not what and just not worry about it because the the production will be so automated that I can just go in and chuck whatever just just go in there and chuck the inserters in and not have to not even have to think about whether I'm whether I should be worrying about the faster or slower ones. So to make these fast inserters and the stack inserters, I need base inserters, I need electronics boards, I need steel, I need bronze. Okay, so I need a, basically everything. So I'm going to need iron, I'm going to need basic circuit boards, I'm going to need more iron, I'm going to need electronics boards, I'm going to need steel to turn to the gears, and I'm going to need plates, 
Actually, that's it. Um, yeah, that is that is it. It's not. It's not. They're not too. They don't take in too many different things, but they do take in quite a quite a lot. So the next thing is is basically now going to be just to extend the bus all the way down to the bottom. So this, this is the copper plates. Why have you stopped? Because I'm not using iron up fast enough. Okay. So once I do this, the iron production will start running again. This is going to use an enormous quantity of belts. I don't. Obviously, I'm not carrying enough of them. Don't need that one. So I'm going to be here. Yeah, and now we're out. Okay, um, I'm going to go and pick up an enormous number of belts, then I'm going to run these belts up and down here, um, so I've got the whole area belted up properly. Uh, that's going to be a fairly big process, if I'm being honest. I don't know if one set of belts is going to be enough because I've I've extended this down a long, long way to get to the um, to get to where I'm making the bronze. So I don't know what, I don't know whether I should have been belting it back up again and then trying to use space in a different area, but this seemed to make sense at the time, so I'm going to I'm going to stick with it, stick with doing that. And I'm going to go up and pick up as many belts as I can, just because, as I say, it's going to it's going to use an enormous enormous quantity of them. And of course, this is going to put quite a lot of strain on my all of my production facilities, and that's not entirely a bad thing because it'll be quite useful to see how they um, how they cope with me suddenly using large quantities of, of resources, even if I'm not strictly speaking using them. I'll at least I'm, I'm at least pulling them through and buffering huge quantities on these belts, so that's kind of the same as using them as far as the um, systems creating them are concerned, which doesn't last for quite as long. Oh, and about again. Let's go get some more. Nearly there. <laughs> okay, I don't actually need zinc, I don't think, so I'm uh, I'm just going to ignore that one for now. Ignore the fact I don't have any of that coming through. Okay. Ah, these two should have another gap. That one there. No, let's not do that. <laughs> let's see if it's managed to produce more than 200 this time. 154. Okay, that might be enough to build up a system for building the um, for building all the different types of inserters. Now, next question is assembly machines. What do I have there? Okay, so I can make Mark II assembly machines. Am I making Mark II assembly machines? And if not, why not? So Mark the Mark ones are being made somewhere quite a long way up, I think. So that suggests that I'm probably not building the Mark II's because I wouldn't have bothered to pipe all the components all the way back up again, maybe? Are there some more belts? That's handy. I thought I had them, but I couldn't find them. Um, oh, here we go. Here's... Oh, I am? No, that's electronics belt, um, assembly machines. Okay, so the assembly machine Mark I's are being built up here. I think maybe I'll build an, a system for making assembly machine Mark II's first, since I now can relatively easily. And that'll mean I can... Won't mean I can learn to drive, apparently. How am I actually stuck on that cliff? That's ridiculous. Right. Um, <laughs> okay, so down here, assembly machine Mark II's is electronic steel, assembly machine 1. Assembly machine 1 is iron gears and circuits. Okay, so I need iron, first of all. Pull that off here. What else am I going to need? Yellow undergrounds. Alright, what's happening? Okay. Yellow undergrounds. Oh, and I'm full. How much of this is rubbish? Quite a lot of it. Let's have a quick inventory unload while we're up here. What don't I need? I don't need that much landfill. I probably don't need any landfill. Um, I don't actually need that many yellow undergrounds. That's a bit ridiculous. I don't need that. I don't need that. That, that. Okay, that'll do. Let's put some of these yellow undergrounds back, I think. Because it is a bit excessive. So that's this box. Yeah. Oh, I see. I cut down the number it's supposed to be building. But I still went along and tried to grab them all out of it anyway. 150, that should do. This is going to do funny things to my head. Having the um, assembly assembly machines assembling on the left-hand side of the bus instead of the right. But there's a lot more space available over here. I mean, that, that said, to be honest, there's quite a lot of space on this side as well. But I think I'm going to yeah, use this area for now. Especially as I might put some sort of mine in on these. So I don't want to... I, I, it'd be good if I have some sort of discouragement from just dumping a train station over the top of it. Two assembly machines, really? Oh, for goodness sake. Actually, that might be alright, because I think assembly machine one, yeah, only actually requires two assembly machines, so that's um, that's okay. I'm gonna need a lot of cogs, let's do that. So, that, 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 no, that, that. Also needs circuit boards. And, uh, right, I'm going to need both types of circuit boards, I think, fairly quickly on this, on this build, so I'm going to um, bring them both in here, like 
that. And then let's see if that needs to I'm gonna do is put that there. There we go. And then So I'll then need a long handled inserter in there as well. Does me that. I can then use that to make and that's going to make the assembly machine mark two. Which also needs cogs, those, and this one needs steel plates. So I'll bring steel in across the bottom down here. Okay. I could build up these electronics assembling machines as well down here to keep everything in the same place. In fact, I think I will um, because it just yeah it keeps things a bit neater if, if everything's if everything's being done in the same place like this. Then it makes them a lot it makes it a lot easier for me to find the damn things when I'm running around looking for them. Uh, that should be probably let's say two stacks and that should be two stacks as well. Did it require? Yes, it did. Okay. Now, first thing I can do with these is upgrade all of these. Like that. <laughs> now, possibly the sensible thing to do here would be to leave space for the next tiers of assembly machines. So, number three, for example, which requires the electronic circuit boards, which I'm going to make somewhere, I guess. Steel gears, that's not a problem. Steel plates, and of course, the assembly machines too. So, what goes into an electronic circuit board? I've got solder, which I've, I've, is a solved problem. I've made that somewhere. Basically, it's transistors that I haven't made yet. That requires plastic and silicon. So that's, yeah, that's going to be quite a lot more challenging. I think I'm probably going to do that somewhere else. So I'm going to, I'm going to just stop here with these ones. It's not like in vanilla where you, um, where it doesn't really take any more advanced components to make the more advanced um, belt types. Well, apart from needing lube, I suppose, for the fast ones. Right. Um, you guys do use cogs. Okay. Maybe I should have put in another machine making cogs as well here. Um, I'll cut this one off here, I think. Okay, so the next thing is inserters. Let's have a think about inserters. So what have we got? We've got the, the burner inserters. Now, I might as well start making these um, because I do use a lot of them for all my turrets. Then we've got the normal inserters, which is still more iron and the circuit boards. That's easy enough. Then we've got these ones, which requires that and bronze as well. And the bronze plate is, of course, coming down here. I could probably put that onto the other side of this steel belt actually. Um, yeah, let's do that. Nope, not that. Uh, uh, nope, like that. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I'm going to need some things making gears first. Let's make, let's, let's have two of those because I am going to get through a lot of gears with this, this system. So they both need to be fed on iron and they're just going to empty out straight onto this belt here. But let's pull this all the way along, just because there's no, re there's no reason not to, really, is there? Uh, then we're going to make burner inserters, which go straight into a box. There's nothing else that uses anything from that. Then we're going to make regular inserters, which I'm going to try and stop using, to be honest. So those can go into that uh, to be made into fast inserters. And then they can go into this one to be made into fast stack inserters. So we have burner inserters being made from cogs and... Uh, iron. Then we have regular inserters, we have fast inserters, and we have fast stack inserters. That requires cogs, iron, and circuitry. And the way I've got this linked up, I don't actually care what sort of circuits they need, just that they need circuits. And this one needs some sort of circuits. Need, oh, steel. Okay, one of these can make steel gears then. That one. And it can do a near side of belt output. So again, I don't have to worry about what sort of cogs they need, just that they need cogs. That's probably going to be all of them. And put some power in as well. And you guys also need to pull in from the brass and the maybe the steel, I don't know. Um, um, you need to pull in off the steel. Okay, good, that's working. That's not getting circuit boards. Long inserter there. Not getting inserter, that's fine, that's working. Right, I think that's all working. Let's not have more than three of them, not more than four of them, and not more than two of them. Right, okay, the problem is <laughs> the um, the iron gears aren't getting past the burner inserter, so I do need another thing making iron gears by the looks of it. Uh, not long handled, not near side. Let's see if twice as many iron inserters, uh, iron gears will uh, keep that satisfied. No, no it won't, it's just going to scoop practically all of them up still. Still, it's very nearly there, those burner inserters are getting built really, really quickly. So it's gonna it's gonna stop being a problem quite soon when that when that gets up to fifty. 
there any other inserters along here that are worth making? I mean, the filter inserters are, yeah, sure, they're a nice idea, but they require quite a lot more, quite a lot of extra components. And to be honest, they just, they don't, given that I can do all the filtering with splitters, I don't think I have any real need for them. So I'm just going to go for as it is. These stack inserters, as I've been saying for about six episodes now, are rather exciting because they mean I can load and unload my trains much more quickly just by putting them in all the way along here. Then the trains can, they can empty the trains in a matter of seconds and the train can go off and do something else. And that means I can start playing with LTN, which is one of the things I've been um, wanting to do for a little while now because it should make my um, trains... Well, it makes my trains a bit more complicated, but it also makes them more organised and it makes it a bit, bit more future-proofed for when I want to have trains going out to more different stations and picking up stuff from all of those. So, let's have a look. LTN is something I'm going to need. That's, um, okay, that's manageable. What's, what is that? that I need? What's that black thing I need to build, build it with? How do I make red wire and green wire then? Oh, insulate. I need to make insulated wire. How do I make insulated wire? Probably plastic, isn't it? Rubber. Okay. Rubber comes from resin. Why am I using this? Okay, so insulated wire comes from rubber and tin copper wire, which is copper cable and tin plate. That's easy that's easy enough. I've done that before for the um uh, for the advanced circuits. Rubber comes from resin, comes from wood. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay. I'll need to start making those though. It's a bit of a bit of a change from um, vanilla, where you can just throw those together in your pockets because they just they just take copper and a circuit to make. But oh well, how am I doing there? Thirty-two. Each of these stations uses twelve. How many stations have I got that I want to upgrade? I make it nine. That can't be right. It can't be an odd number. Oh, ten for that one. So I need uh, one hundred and twenty. Yeah, it's going to take a little while to make. Oh well, let's do, let's do some of the nearby ones while I'm waiting. It just occurred to me what I can do to speed this up. I can take all these yellow inserters that I don't need anymore, dump them in there. <laughs> oh, one's damaged. <laughs> That's interesting. I didn't know you couldn't make um, new things out of damaged things, but I suppose it makes a sort of sense. Why is my iron, why is my iron production stopped? What's going on? That should come from. I don't know where that should come from, but it shouldn't stop. Oh, I've <laughs> crushed stone is backed up again. Presumably it's because that's full. Right, <laughs> time to go and pave the base. I do need to find an automated way of getting rid of this crushed stone, uh, the, getting rid of the crushed stone and all the stone bricks, because this re re recurring thing of having the um, having the entire base grind to a halt because there's too much crushed stone made is getting a bit silly, really. Um, right. Where do I consider to be the end edge of my main part of my base? Let's say it's about here where the, where the uh, coal train comes in. And over here, well, I don't think it really goes all the way to the um, edge of where I fought for, but it will, um, certainly covers that area where I'm dealing with the mud. What am I doing? <laughs> Maybe I should go a bit further north. Let's go a bit further north. Yeah, I can claim everything inside these cliffs, I reckon. Ooh, not with this brush, I can't. It's too big. I kind of don't want to... Um, intrude on this road because that's quite a nice guide of where I need to suddenly panic and dive sideways. So I'm not going to build quite a, quite all the way over there. Why do you not have any fuel? Ten. Oh well, I'll have to do. Um, yeah, so then that will come down here like that. All the way up there. Is that the, yep, yeah, that's all of this area done. Now it's just sort of down here and Frustratingly, that's a bit of a longer run from the um, from this thing. How am I doing? Oh, that is basically empty now, though. That has been <laughs> quite effective. Now my base can go back to running as normal for a little while until the until next time the stone all backs up again and I have to go around like a loon just dumping it all over the place. Oh, I forgot to finish that off. I should probably do that. Okay. Right, the iron now flows again nicely. The um, uh, the crushed stone is coming through but not very quickly these machines are again they're dealing with it but <laughs> I'd say that's about two-thirds of the speed they could be dealing with it at it's almost like I need another place where I'm using this stuff up just to get rid of it all is there anywhere I suppose I could start tiling over this um, landfilling over this entire lake here to give me some more uh, room to play with and that's not actually that's not a bad idea where's the landfill it's another one it's just somewhere up up here and 
the wild and frozen north. There it is. Take all of that. All of that. In fact, I might as well pick up all of that because I think... Yes, I've got plenty of room in my inventory now. And let's hit all of that landfill as well. Now, the only thing is, landfill can't be removed once you've put it down. And there's always a chance I might need some more water at some point. So I'm a little bit reticent about tiling over the whole thing. But that said, it will create some useful space. So let's start off with a just with a big strip across here. Oh, it's all gone. <laughs> that lasted a lot less time than I was expecting. I thought I had a lot more landfill than that. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm still presumably... The question is... The, these systems here are all running absolutely flat out now. Before they, before it all got massively backed up and clogged, were they running absolutely flat out? Should all of this, yeah, because there is a lot coming up from down here. This isn't, this is an enormous amount of crushed stone being generated by these, by all of these systems. And this belt basically isn't moving. It's moving a bit faster here, a bit faster. Yeah. And the, the problem is that it's. Because each time it's um, been rejoined, I've just put a splitter onto it. The priorities are all haywire. So the further up the, the chain it is, the higher the priority of that particular mine. So this one is... Actually, even this one isn't quite back to normal, and this is the top priority. This one's fine because it's not producing copper very quickly. So it's not producing... It's not actually producing all that much crushed stone. This one... Where's, where's this thing coming from? Oh, this is, coming, this, this is all the ones that are down here. The thing is, now these are all playing catch-up. This is unnecessary, actually. I should probably stop this running because all I needed was a small amount of the um, a small amount of lead to turn into lead ingots in order to catalyze the um, oh god knows what it was production of something. And now all, all of the everything else it's making is is su superfluous. Where is that? No, it's further down than this. No, it isn't. It's the, it's the very top one. Here we go. So this, yeah, <laughs> I don't need that much of any of this at the moment. Crazy amounts of slag. It's a good thing I'm not crushing all of that. That would make it even worse. Um, so that's going to cut off this. So I'm not producing any... I don't need any more any more coming from the rubite processing. This system... This is desperately in need of running as fast as it can. Although, actually, that said, this is running nearly... And the bottom one's a bit slow. Top one's running okay. I need... Obviously need a better way of dealing with all of this crushed stone. Because I'm... Yeah, this is this isn't enough. Can I do anything else useful with crushed stone? I'm sure you're supposed to be able to turn it into other other materials, actually. So let's have a look. Crushed stone turns into stone, sure. Calcium chloride, mineralized water. I could turn it all into water and water and just flush it away into the ground, I suppose, when it starts to overflow. Or I can turn I can mix it with acid, which I haven't got yet, and turn it into slag slurry, and that I believe can be turned back into into useful things. Mineral sludge. Ah, oh, mineral sludge. So, okay, so using this system, so we need slag processing. So we need, um, we need slag processing, we need sulfuric acid, but then we can make basically anything we want out of it. That's going to be very useful, and that's going to be a good way of keeping things balanced, I suspect. Um, but, you know, not just yet. Unless the answer is dump it all into a massive quantity of warehouses. And then later on, I can unload all of those warehouses and turn it all back into into useful ores. I don't know. That feels. I'm not going to have the warehouse space for it. I mean, you saw what happened with the um, with this warehouse. It just filled up, and then and I was stuck. Maybe the answer for now is just to sink it into the ground. Do I have water around here anywhere? There's water coming across there. There's water coming across down here. I mean, is that the answer? Turn it into mineralized water and flush it away. Let's do that as an overflow system. So I'll put it in about here because there's lots of space and it's where about half of the, half the stuff is coming from, probably including the most important ones. I don't have any pipes. Let's go and get some, let's go and get some more pipes and check into how to do that. So crush stone, mix with normal water in a liquefier or a chemical plant. What's, what's the decent speed about it? Chemical plant or a liquefier? Oh no. Oh no, so that's in inverse, okay. So the lower the number, the better. Chemical plant 2. To be honest, the normal chemical plants are reasonably quick, but I need to develop this technology first, apparently. Okay, that's uh, a thing I can do. Yeah, it's just yellow science, that's easy. Um, 
So I need pipes which come from up here. There we go. And I need to build. Hang on. How, how, what, were, what were the speeds on that? So liquefier is 0.6. Chemical plant is 0.57. Chemical plant two. So okay, let's let's build. See what sort of chemical plants I can build. Chemical plant. Okay, that'll do. Let's have a cut. Let's have three of that. Three of those. What am I missing now? S steel. The steel is not a thing I have a lot of anymore. Um, I'm clearly going to need to up my steel production, I think. Unless that's just because it's being filling this back up again. Where's it got to now? Yeah, okay, I'm still producing them faster than I'm using them. Same with these circuits. Okay, that's not a worry. <laughs> uh, six. Six is a, six is a good number. Um, and then I'll need a clarifier, which I can't build because I don't need stone bricks. Something slightly ironic about that. They're not having stone bricks part specifically. One clarifier should be enough. They're pretty quick. Um, and then I just need to pipe the water over. Okay. Oh, fine. Let's take pity on this thing while I'm passing it. Driving is difficult. I'm actually I'm surprised if that's the first time I've hit that thing. Yeah, it's supposed to do. So I need chemical plants. And I want. I don't know what it's called, but I want the one that makes. Oh, yeah, that one. And then we have an output pipe that feeds a clarifier. And then I don't know how. I don't have any inserters, let's go and get some inserters. I don't know how fast these will run, so I'm not quite sure what sort of inserters I should be putting in there. Stack ones seem, seem like overkill. Here we go, this is what I mean about the trains I'm getting unloaded much more quickly. So that said, it's not... well, it's it's a lot faster than it was before anyway. <laughs> Still not quite as quick as I'm used to it being from um, vanilla, but then you get much more... I, th I guess I'm I'm used to sort of end game vanilla when you've got the, the really big stack inserters. Uh, bonuses. They, they shift about 10 things per, 10 items per swing. This is a good demonstration of the problem actually. So this um, stereotype unloading point here, sapphire unloading sorry, is waiting because this one couldn't fill the train up quickly enough. So yeah the train's, oh, no it's waiting because I haven't s signaled that s properly. Uh, I'll go down and do that in a minute. I'm going to upgrade this to a yellow belt at some point quite soon I think. But not right now, because I don't have any. No, wait, that's wrong. Because I'm going to be using long-handled inserters all the way along here. Like this. That's pretty good. That is, in fact, faster than it needs to be. That's... Why, why are they not running? Why have they, oh, they've not got water because I've not finished the pipes. That's why. Mm. It's there. So I need to fix this pipe. I need to go fix those signals. And then I want to yellow belt up those... Um, Okay, that one's done. So that should now have water going to the... Uh, yes, the clarifier is spinning. I can see that running there. And it's pulling that through faster than it's as fast as it's coming in. Excellent. Right, well, I'm happy to keep the output... No, there's no point in doing that. Oh, yes, there is. Output priority on the right. Because that way, I'll keep getting the, um, the stone bricks in case I do want them. But if there's any overflow, then it'll go straight into that. Let's go sort those signals out now. Or alternatively, just drive down here straight into a pipe. Trying to get run over by a train. Okay, here we go. These are the um, bits that haven't been signaled properly. I think that's right. Yeah, each of these sections is a separate section. Yeah, that'll do. All right, how's my stone stone still isn't getting, getting through? Yeah, this all needs to be yellow belts. Cause it's just there just isn't enough throughput on that belt. Even though that even though this belt is now going flat out, there's not enough throughput to deal with all of the um, all the stone. Okay, let's go and get some yellow belts probably won't be all that long until I'm developing the next speed, next uh, type of belt. Maybe I'll actually do that one properly. Um, they're not this far up, are they? No, it's just normal. That's just the grey belts there. So it must be down here somewhere. Um, here we go. Yellow belts, yellow belts. And I still don't have yellow uh, splitters, and I'm going to need quite a few of those. i just make those by hand, but I need iron and tin. Well, that comes from here. Here we go. Four. What do I need? Iron. Some of these things are crazy iron hungry. Not to mention kind of time consuming to make as well. Uh, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, circuit boards. Is it these ones? Yes. Right, I'm going to work backwards from the um, the splitter I put in until I get to basically where the problem is. So, yellows. That. Okay, let's replace that underground before I go any further nice thing is putting in these faster belts will literally double the throughput of the um, of the system so that should make it capable of carrying well obviously literally twice as much um, cr 
of stone through. And hopefully that'll stave off the problem for a little while. I guess we'll see. That's where we find out that even double the uh, stream isn't, isn't sufficient. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's that's going down now. This one I honestly don't know. I suppose part of the problem is it's all on the same side of the belt. That's definitely not helping. That's kind of helping. This system down here has hit capacity though, so so that means once this is all pulled through it's going to be okay. So I think this I think this bit is probably alright. And up here, alright, let's upgrade this part as well because I haven't quite run out of the um, splitters yet. There. Now follow this back up again now. Do, 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 all the way through here. I think I should probably put yellow in along here as well. Oh, good sake. There we go. Okay, so now we've pulled it all out of the uh, Bobmonium facility, which is to be expected because we've got as much of the... Uh, we're, not, we're only using the bronze up when we when we actually start building stuff along here, and at the moment these have hit, hit they're all full, so we don't need... so that's not being currently currently being used. This stuff... what are we even making from here? Oh, the copper's trying to fill this up. The copper ingots. So that is eventually going to back up as well. The iron is... I don't know. The iron's going to stop fairly soon. Actually, that's going to clog it all up. Um, which isn't really a problem as such, because it just means this area is going to get cut. This, this area isn't going to get any more copper, but it doesn't need it. So this will eventually just grind to a halt, because this will back up. It's not very. It's not really thinking about the future, though, is it? Saying, oh, it's okay because I'm not using it right now. But maybe in the future I'll have a more efficient way of dealing with it. Or at the very least, I'll have faster belts. Um, this... I, I don't know. Um, yeah, the stereotype, or whichever one, whichever one that this is, the one that gets turned into iron anyway, is backed up to the point where it's being used as fast as it's coming out of the system. So, um, yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, so this is being dealt with fast enough, so that's, that's okay. Rubite has ground to a halt as well because I'm not using lead up very quickly, so that's all okay. So... Yeah, this is all basically just coming from iron production at the moment, and it does seem to be being dealt with. Quite a lot of it's going off to be um, uh, liquidised, so that's and just washed away. So that's yeah, that's all alright, I think. Now I'm curious about the next tier of belts. Um, so I've got those, got those. So it's red next for the fast, the fast ones. What do I need to make those? Interesting. That is just and bronze, so I can do that. These ones are aluminium and cobalt. Those are, are still a bit out of reach. And I'm not sure... Can I make cobalt? Cobalt or... Yes, but I need to make another... A, a sort of stereotype. Or... No. Oh, I need to either... Okay, so this this would be if I... When I... So maybe, maybe it's soon I'll upgrade the bobmonium facility to make the um, bobmonium chunks instead of bobmonium... Instead of crushed bobmonium. And then I can start making cobalt and, and, and zinc as well. Um, and that'll allow me to move on for the express belts. But the other thing is, um, so the underground belts, those, yep, that's manageable too. That's the splitters that were the complicated one. So what, what do red splitters take? Oh, again, that's that's not too bad. I think these are all all quite manageable now. In my um, with this facility they've got going on down here, which has the has the circuits, it has the iron, it has the um, has bronze and has steel and steel gears and so on. I think I can start making the more advanced um, belt types down here, and I think that's probably I think that probably be a good idea. Maybe I'll start doing that in the um, in the next episode because I've been playing for an hour and a half now, so that clearly means it's about time to stop. Um, so yeah, I think that's I think that's quite a good idea. Let's so this is running happily now. Good, that's that's all fine. So I think the next thing, yes, it will be to go and start building the more advanced belts. But for now, I th yes, I. I I think that's been quite a good episode. I, I feel like I've made some pleasing progress. I've got my um, my tin 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 uh, tin ingots coming through here, being made into uh, merge of the copper ingots into brass. No bronze. Let's get that right for once. The bronze bronze is making all of the all the useful machines and things down here. All of the um, assembly machines and the faster inserters, which I've been trying to make for bloody ever. So that's good. Oh, I should also go and upgrade the the, uh, the mines, the inserters in the mines. But no, I'll save that for the next episode. I'll try and remember to do it. For now, I'm going to cut. Yes, yeah, so that's definitely definitely an episode. So until next time. <laughs>